Legendary actor Dilip Kumar was the Hindi film industry's first superstar. In fact, much before Shah Rukh, Salman and Saif, there was Yusuf Khan, the original King Khan of Bollywood. The actor took the screen name of Dilip Kumar after he was advised to change his name before entering the movie business. Although, he made his film debut in 1944 with Jawar Bhatta. He got major success only three years later with the movie Juhu. Dilip Kumar's Andaz released in 1949 and was the highest grossing film of that time. After establishing him as a successful lead actor, Dilip won himself an even bigger stature as a movie star and an actor par excellence. Dag, which released almost eight years after Dilip entered the film industry, was the first film to get him the Filmfare Best Actor Award. In 1955, Dilip acted as Devdas in Bimal Roy's Devdas Dilip's. Portrayal of Devdas became legendary. Recently, Forbes named Dilip's performance in the film as one of the top 25 greatest performances of Indian cinema. Dilip's fame was rapidly rising. In 1957, Dilip appeared in the film Naya Daur, which became a huge commercial success. But the movie is better known now for its controversy, featuring Dilip Kumar and Madhubala amid a court battle. This controversy ended Madhubala's relationship with Dilip, and the movie ended up featuring Vejantimala. But such was the professionalism of Dilip Kumar and Madhubala that when they came together once again, to shoot India's greatest romance film, Mughle Azam, the audience couldn't sense that they were not even on talking terms. Dilip Kumar was such a wonderful actor that people often forget he was also a producer, writer and a director. Dilip combined all of his talents together for the film Ganga Jamuna, which was released in 1961. The film's story, which Dilip had written, later served as inspiration for Amitabh Bachchan's Diwan. In 1966, Dilip married actress Saira Banu, who was 22 years younger than him. A year later, he released Ram or Sham, which was a hit after a few years of box office slump. The 1970s were a bad decade for Dilip Kumar. But once again in the 1980s, he delivered classics such as Mashal, Shakti and Karma. Post the 2000s, Dilip took a retirement from acting and was elected into the upper house of the Rajya Sabha. Dilip Kumar is the only actor to have gotten some of the highest civilian awards both in India and Pakistan. As an actor, he has inspired some of the greatest names in Indian cinema. Shah Rukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan and Amir Khan. His filmography has delivered timeless gems. Truly, Dilip Kumar was the shining sun amidst the galaxy of stars in Bollywood. Which one of Dilip Kumar's film is your favorite?